Life Cycle of an Apple Tree by Robin Nelson. This is an apple tree. There are many kinds of apples. How do apple trees grow? First, an apple seed grows roots. Next, a shoot grows out of the ground. The young tree grows leaves and gets It is called a sapling. After a few years, it is a tree. One year, flower buds appear. The buds open and the tree is covered with flowers. Bees visit the flowers. The flowers fall off and a tiny green apple begins to grow. The apples grow big and red. In the fall, apples are ready to be picked. Some apples fall or are carried away. The seeds inside the apples could grow into new trees. So that's the inside of an apple. And there is the life cycle of an apple tree. We start with the apple and you get the seeds and then the roots grow and the leaves grow and then you have a tree tree grows flowers, the flowers fall off, and apples grow, and then you have an apple, and the life cycle of an apple tree begins again. Here are some apple tree facts. Most apples are eaten just as they are. You can also make apple cider, apple butter, apple pie, apple sauce, and many other things. Another fact is that Johnny Appleseed was a man who traveled across America planting apple trees. Some apple trees are very small and could fit in your bedroom. Others can grow to be 40 feet tall. Apple farmers do not grow apple trees from seeds. They cut part of a grown apple tree and attach it to another tree stem. This grows into an apple tree. October is National Apple Month, and most apples are picked in October. And most animals are picked by hand in the fall. And here is a glossary of terms. We see that buds are a flower that has not yet opened. Roots are parts of a plant that grow down into the ground. A sapling is a young tree, and a shoot is a plant that has just started to grow. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about the life cycle of an apple tree.